So it's come to my attention um, that my how to draw a stickman tutorial may have been a little too advanced for some of you. Not to fear my precious cinnamon buns, I'm here to help. Drawing is very simple, so for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to make it like extremely complicated. Just follow along closely. I'm sure we'll all come out of this with the same number of limbs that we had when we went in. You've got nothing to worry about. So Wikipedia defines drawing as a form of visual art in which a person uses various drawing instruments to mark paper or another two-dimensional medium. Knowing this definition is super helpful here because we learn several things from just one sentence. We not only learn what drawing is, but we also learn what tools are necessary and the action required to draw. Diving into this definition, we learn that the first step of drawing is to be a person, which seems discriminatory to me, but I'm not a professional definition writer, so I don't know. Can't really do anything about it. We learned that we need two tangible objects to create a drawing. We need a drawing instrument and a paper. I tried a couple of different instruments and none of them really were creating the marks on the paper that it said it would. Um, and I realized that's probably because these were musical instruments, not drawing instruments. Um, the French horn actually did come up with a result, but it was not the mark I was looking for. Once I realized that I needed a drawing instrument, um, this it narrowed it down quite a bit because there are different things like pens and pencils and markers. Um, and these are all drawing instruments that you can use to mark something. But you may be thinking, what drawing instrument do I use? Well, artists have debated this topic for a very long time and it's a bit of a heated topic, but they've come to a conclusion very recently and it turns out the best drawing instrument to use is whichever one is closest to you. But before we can mark something, we need the other thing mentioned in the definition, and that is paper. Paper comes in all different shapes and sizes. You have your paper plates, your paper bags, and your paper towel. Or if you're a bit more mainstream, you have your paper paper. Some people call paper flat and dried tree carcass pulp, but paper can actually be made out of other plants like cotton or hemp or even bamboo. I mean, but I'm, I'm gonna assume you're like me and you're cheap and you bought the tree version. If you don't have any paper handy, you can actually just go find a tree. I mean, there's lots of trees. They're like everywhere. They're growing out of the ground. And then once you have that tree, you just cut it down. <clears throat> you turn the wood into a pulp by adding water and you like grind it up. And then you separate the cellulose from this like organic gluey substance that Google tells me is called lignin. Um, and then you remove that water you, that you added to it previously and you flatten the holy heck out of it. And then you get paper. So whichever option is easier, you can either run down to Walmart or make it yourself. I'm gonna get it zoom in here so that we really understand what is necessary. I want this to be very obvious. I don't want anyone having any trouble with this. We're going to take this very slow. Okay, okay can everyone see? Can you see the paper? Can you see our drawing instrument? All right, can you see where these two separate objects are interacting? Right here, like right there, okay. Oh, I just, I just, do you, do you see that? Whoa, whoa, guys, guys. Okay, where, where this pencil touched the paper, can, can you, can you, can, can, I just, I just barely, I swear guys, I swear, I just barely, barely touched it. And we have created a lot, like, like a dot. There's like, there is almost three dots. It kind of looks like three dots. Like it's, if someone could harness this power between a pencil and the paper, like <laughs> think of all the things you could make. I'm gonna follow the um, definition again, taking my paper, my drawing instrument, and we are going to make a mark on the paper. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm really nervous. I bet if I drag my arm to the right, we'll create um, a mark that starts where I placed the pencil and goes to the right. Let's, let's find out. Oh yeah! It worked. Oh my gosh, like, this is amazing. Thank you, Wikipedia. Okay, so I bet if we do the same thing backwards, it'll also happen. So if I push, if I contact the pencil to the paper on this end, and then without lifting it up, maintaining that contact between drawing instrument and paper, and move it to this side, 
<laughs> it's working. It's working, guys. Oh, look at that. We, we are drawing. We're drawing. We are drawing on this piece of paper. <sighs> okay. Whew, yeah. <laughs> Does anyone else need to catch the breath? Because this is, like, insane. Um, why don't we try something a little bit crazier? Maybe we'll make, like, a squiggly line or something. So, I'm thinking how to make squiggly line. We'll take our drawing instrument and we are going to mark the paper and then without lifting it I'm just gonna like squiggle it all around like this we're getting crazy here ready 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 <gasps> insane drawing is awesome I am creating things that did not exist before and I feel <gasps> so powerful okay <laughs> so I'm thinking from what I've learned by drawing that's right I drew these by drawing these two lines and the squiggle that if, if I take this drawing instrument um, and mark this piece of paper in such a way um, that represents like another image, like a face, I bet, like, I bet we could draw a face. Like, I think if we just, you know, we'd like, um, I don't know, like heads are kind of circular, you know? Oh, look, I just drew a circle, guys. Eee! Okay, and like, they have like a pointy bit at the bottom, like a chin, chin shape. Yeah, and like they have ears on the side and they even have eyes in between those ears usually, I think faces do. And then they have like pupils that go inside those eyeballs and they have like eyebrow shapes that go above the eyes. And then they have like a nose shape that goes right under those and like something like that. And then they actually have, I think faces usually have like lip shapes that go right under their, their, their nose and then the, sometimes the chin looks a little different like that. Sometimes it looks a little more like this. And like sometimes they have just rosiness, like if you've been outside. And I think there's usually like a hair shape at the top. Like, like I don't know, it could have long hair, it could have short hair. I don't know, just hair, you know, any kind of hair shape, really, <laughs> whatever you decide. Like, look at this, like we're, 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 we're we're, we're drawing, <laughs> we're drawing, I, I'm drawing something. I am literally taking this drawing instrument and creating a mark on this paper or other two dimensional object. Like I, oh, this is insane. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm drawing, I'm drawing, oh man, I'm drawing. <laughs> I'm drawing, I drew, I, I just drew. That makes me a drawer. I'm a drawer. My theory is being proven here that with you just one drawing instrument, one piece of paper, um, and depending on where you move your wrist, you could literally draw anything with this. This is insane. Okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> along with you, I just I just taught myself how to draw. That was that was insane and like it was so easy and like successful. Like all you have to do is Oh, that, oh, that is, like, I do not get over that. That is, in, that is, that is stellar, okay? That is just amazing. I just, all you need is a drawing instrument, a piece of paper, and, like, you just, you just touch it and it, it, it draws, like, <laughs> that's insane. Anyway, I, I definitely learned something, and I hope you all did, too, and, uh, <laughs> I hope you have a very happy April Fool's Day and happy Easter, actually pretty interesting. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!